Uh, so yes, in case you missed it, Suella Braveman has been eliminated. We're now down to five candidates. Let's recap, shall we, who they are. You've got Rishi Sunak, Penny Morden, Liz Truss, Kemi Badenoch and Tom Tugendhat. There you go, five. Uh, I'll start with you, Lord Moylan. Out of those five, do you have a favourite? Do you know who you're backing? Well, my favourite was Suella Braverman, and I was working um, to help her. And, uh, of course, she was knocked out at about three o'clock this afternoon, so I don't have a favourite anymore. Uh, the Conservative Party is definitely paying the price of getting rid of vote-winning Boris Johnson without a clue as to what they're going to do next. And we have uh, some, a very serious prospect. Uh, uh, the, the first thing I'll say is that Rishi Sunak, however popular he is with the MPs, in my view, from my contacts, he's deeply unpopular with the members of the party. Mm. So if he's in the final two, there's a very good chance that whoever the other person is will win. Mm. At the moment, it's looking like that person could be, could be Penny Mordaunt. But David Frost came out today and said she was an incompetent minister. And I know from my own experience, when I was um, a de deputy council leader... Uh, we hired her to be the director of comms. Admittedly, this is 20 years ago. Um, and we had to get rid of her after a few months because she was incompetent. Now, you could have said... What do you mean 20... you got rid of her? You had well, to we fire asked, her? Well, we asked her gently. We hired her and then we... Then she wasn't... You Lord sugared her. ...anymore. I, no, it was all very politely done, I'm sure. Um, the, but the, the, not Lord Sugar shouting. But she didn't stay. And she didn't stay because she couldn't do the job. Now, you could say that's 20 years ago... Maybe she's changed, she's grown up, she's learned. But then you've got Lord Frost today saying she's no better today. And I'm seriously worried that if Rishi and Penny Mordaunt are in the final two, she might actually win. So who does that leave? Well, it leaves Christopher, um, not Christopher, sorry, Tom Tugendhat, who I don't think has, I, I mean, all we can say about Tom Tugendhat at the moment is that he hasn't really got traction. He's, he's in by the skin of his teeth. I, nobody, I think, really thinks he's going to be in the last two. And that leaves um, Liz Truss and Kemi Badenoch. I would have loved someone like um, Suella or even Kemi, if I'm not just not sure of Kemi's views on a host of things, but I'd have loved a fresh face. I'd have loved a younger face. I'd have been very happy with a female, um, could be female or male, but a female face, been really good. And, and I think Kemi Badenoch would have been a really interesting one. But Liz Truss is probably a bit sounder on... Um, on Brexit issues. Rishi Sunak, fine and nice guy, but he's going to have real problems cutting through, I think, with ordinary people. I don't actually know what he stands for or why he wants to be Prime Minister, except that it's his turn. He thinks it's his turn. And as I say, I think he's going to struggle with the membership anyway.